I have a 1937 Gordon's cookbook here, which was in my family things, and uh, my wife recently discovered this in a closet. It's, um, the products in 1937 were all canned. Here are some samples. Um, and one of the principal ones was what we call ready-to-fry codfish cakes. Well, in 1964, I went to work for Gordon's. And at that time, the seafood center was the main deal. Uh, it was growing fast with frozen products. We had three lines, but we still had a cannery. And we made ready-to-fry codfish cakes and chowder. The codfish cakes were the real deal. They were made with salt fish. And by the way, the first Saturday that I went to work for Gordon's in 1964, what did I do? Go out and take down the flake yards where we dried salt fish previously so we could put up a new mug-up shack. It was not a problem because at the time, Gordon's had plants in Canada and we brought saltfish down from the Magdalene Islands. So anyway, in the cannery, the fish cakes we made had were principally saltfish with a little bit of frozen mixed in and real potatoes, really good Maine potatoes. We took the eyes out of them, peeled them, and made them right. Well, <clears throat> I need to tell you about these people that worked in the cannery, that at the time, the head guy there was Claire Mitchell. And his, his best friends were Cocky Rose, he was the production manager in the seafood center, and Hammy Vidal from the lab. So what did they do on Saturdays? Every Saturday they went out in Cocky's boat, lobster boat, the Four Roses, from the Beacon Marine, to catch a boat to make a chowder. And Claire would make the chowder on the way out. By the way, it wasn't too difficult to catch a haddock in those days. It didn't take long. <laughs> a couple hours from dock to come back again. Uh, they were great times. And it was a time, it was an interesting time at Gordon's. We were growing fast. We made about 400 different products. Every way you could think of to cut up a fish block, we did it. Uh, very many species of fish, uh, all kinds of breading different breading percentages. Um, it was uh, the machines we had to really design and build our own machines at the time. A lot of us miss those fish cakes. You know, I just wonder what the possibilities are. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if Gordon's would bring them back to us?